Hello everyone, welcome to this week's video. Now you may have noticed in my past videos, anytime there's any writing on the screen, it's always reversed. And that's because I, I filmed this using the uh, my old mobile phone and the front facing camera. Well now we're a slight upgrade, so let's swap with this camera. Oh. There you go, that's better. Everything's right way around now. Well thanks for that, it's been good to me. Right, let's get on with it. Roll the credits. Well, some of you may have saw in one of my previous videos, I've killed the uh, lens on my uh, Insta360 Go. Nasty scratch there, so the footage is basically unusable, and these lenses aren't removable, so this is basically knackered. So yeah, I've been looking, after, looking for the uh, run cam thumb, and it's been out of stock everywhere. But not anymore, I've managed to uh, get hold of one. So what we'll do now, we'll uh, go down the bench, we'll open the box, and have a look what you get inside. So let's go. Yeah, so let's... Uh have a look in the box to see what I actually get. And straight away open the box there and your thumb sat on the top. Now this is uh, this is really really like this. I'll, I'll forget the weight off the top of my head. I'll put some specs up here so you can uh, you can see there. And I'll leave that to your on off button. And I'll start stop record as well. You have a little uh, slot that comes off there. And I believe that's where your memory card goes in there for recording. Now there's no battery in this. So you have to wire it up to your flight controller and it uh, connects on that bit there, so yeah, well, it's the thumb. Here are your instructions. Well, there's quite a, quite a lot on there, just your basic uh, telling you what everything does. Information on wiring it to your flight controller. And then showing you how to upgrade the firmware. So I'll come in handy that. And what else you got in here? That looks like a little, uh, little plastic mount there to uh, mount it to your uh, quad. Another little 3D printed mount there, a real lightweight one. It's quite nice. Oh, there actually is an ND filter in there. Now, I'm not sure what ND this is. I'll uh, I'll have a quick look and I'll put a little uh, thing up there so it tells you what. Well, that's quite handy. That must be a data cable. I was going to say a charging cable, but it can't be a charging cable because there's actually no battery in there. Some nuts and bolts. And then finally, yeah, that's your little... Uh, your little power cable what you uh, wire up to your flight controller so there you go that's what you get in the box well the quad i used to use with me into 360 go was my little three inch uh, micro apex so i think what i'll do i'll put it on this so let's get it wired in and then we'll go out and uh, test fly it and see what sort of footage we get so let's go right so here we are at the uh, fabled test site where i like to come Got the uh, thumb on the quad there. Now the only thing I've done really is put an elastic band around it because the mount that's on is not the best. Now uh, all the settings on this are standard. I haven't changed anything apart from enabling the gyro information because I want to have a mess about with the uh, gyro flow at some point. So right, I think what I'll do now, I'll uh, I'll send it. Maybe do a minute or so cruising around, then a minute or so freestyle. And we'll see what the footage ends up like. Yeah, that's annoying. First crash. All I can suggest is, don't use the mount you get with it. If you can, get a 3D printed one. That's pants. The only thing I found is that. Pissed off doesn't come into it. I'm going to have a... Another look around now, see if I can find it, but, well, look. Like, literally trying to find a needle in a haystack, so. Well, now that I've had five minutes to sit and think about it, you know, these things happen, this is FPV, you always break things. So, luckily, one of my friends has a metal detector, so I might be able to come back up later and see if I can find it. Yes, yeah, but 
Yes, there it is. Thanks to my mate with his metal detector. That's 50 quid saved. Come on. <laughs> right, so there's takeoff. Yeah, you can see there the image looked pretty sharp. One thing I've noticed though, it's a, it's a very, very flat colour profile. You know, that's ideal though if you want to uh, do some colour correcting or throw a LUT on it, something like that. I'm noticing some uh, bits of jello. Probably because of the mount though. Not the best mount is I've ordered a 3D printed one which should uh, make it a little bit easier to soft mount. But yeah the footage is pretty good. Everything looks nice and clear. There is there is a lot of settings you can alter. And as we go into freestyle here, you know the image quality does remain the same, but I think you start to notice the jello a bit more the more you throw the quad around, you know, the more acrobatic moves you do, which that's what we do in freestyle, you know. But yeah, I'm still, still fairly impressed with the image quality. I'm just hoping that you know once I, uh, once I start pouring it through Gyroflow, it should get rid of the vast majority of it. And don't forget, this doesn't have the ND filter on there; it comes with either. That, that should help with some of the jello in the image. But all in all, it's it, for what it is, it's a pretty decent, uh, decent looking image. I'm, I'm quite happy. I think you'll agree the footage out of the, this little camera wasn't actually that bad. Like I say, I haven't uh, used any stabilisation around on it yet. I'm uh, I'm going to do a comparison of this and the Runcam Orange on Gyroflow for one of my next videos, so watch out for that. But yeah, it's uh, it's not bad at all. Like I say, I got this as a replacement for my Insta360 Go, so what I might do is... Uh, See if I can grab some stock footage that I've already got out of my Insta360 and some footage from this and maybe compare the two, see what that looks like. If you want to say that, let me know down in the comments. For what, for what you pay for it, 50 quid, you know, for the full thing, I think it's pretty worth it. Anyway, watch out for me Gyroflow video, which will be coming in the next week or two. And if you enjoyed this video, please think about giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. And if you want to support the channel, there's uh, links down in the video description to where you can buy all sorts of FPV gear. I'd appreciate you using them. I'll give a small commission. It doesn't cost you a penny. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.